welcome to another video and I'm going to be modeling uh, this thing here all right which I think is the some kind of starship nuclear reactor in the sick bay all right this is from the same artist uh, that I did the engineering room and uh, yeah let's uh, let's get to it okay so I'm going to delete all this stuff and I'm going to look from the top and I'm going to bring in a circle and I'm going to go for 20 vertices and um, I want to do that so that I have a point all along uh, at these edges here I'm going to delete these and I'm going to delete these so I just have this right here okay okay now I'm going to switch over to my 3D cursor here and I'm going to hit um, E and S and I'm going to scale in pretty far and this way I'm going to get a nice straight line here and a nice straight line there let's turn on this I'm going to pull this up a little ways and I'm going to grab that edge and I'm going to extrude it down and I'm going to look from the top I'm going to hit E and S and I'm going to come in quite far again almost to the same position there and I'm just going to pull it down look from any, any vantage point doesn't really matter I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to pull down to make the base or the part that goes down Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to go back into median point and I'm going to select it all and I'm going to hit S to scale. I'm just scaling not too much like that. Let's see how that works. Add modifier mirror in the X and in the Y. I'm going to hit control 2 for two subdivisions and shade smooth. I'm going to go back into edit mode and I'm going to put an edge loop up here and down here. I'm going to drag an edge loop up here and I might drag one down there as well. Not too tight. Over to the side just to sharpen those up. One right down the middle. I'm going to switch to two edge. Uh, edge mode and control B to bevel and just create a little area in there I'm going to switch back to my 3d cursor I'm going to go E scale shift Z and I'm going to pull in a little ways I'll make a little put another material in there a couple of edge loops like that to tighten it and even in here just like that nice and crisp or relatively crisp anyhow Okay, so I, I'm not doing it to any specifications. We're just having some fun here. Okay, shift A, I'm going to add another circle. I'm going to stick with the uh, 20 vertices. I think should be okay. I can be at median point for this. In edit mode, I'm going to scale it down. And I want just just sort of wider than that. Not good enough for now. E to extrude and I'm going to come up a ways. E and S come in. E. Then we're just making a place where the glass can, can fit for the reactor. I'll come out a ways for that. I think what I'll do here is I'm going to come down and I'm going to come in a little bit and I'll just have rest the glass on there. So. All right, let's go control two. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shift alt and click those edges and bevel, control B. I'll put one edge loop there just to tighten that up like that. Drag one down there and one over here. Shade to smooth that. I might tighten that, I'm do that right now, I guess. Okay, like that. Now, 3D cursor is right in the middle. That's fine. I'm going to bring in a plane. I'm going to scale it down. I'll bring it forward. 
from down near the bottom. I can lengthen that if I want to later. Make some kind of like beat things that to hold this up. Um, I've never seen one of these things in the movie, so I don't really know how it goes. So I'm just kind of, you know, flipping back and forth to this diagram once in a while. I'll do something like that. I'm going to grab this top face and I'm going to eye the inset just a little bit. E to extrude it up a bit. And I'll put a bevel on that. I'll go for maybe three. I'll try three. Zero point zero two. That might be too wide. Let's scale on the X. I can adjust that. I'm going to grab that top face now. Shift D. I'm going to bring it up. Using that, I'm gonna go P to break it out, select it, and set the origin of geometry on this. And move this around and hook it back in edit mode, scale it, scale in the X. It's right in the middle, so that's good. That's what we want. Pull it out though, so I can play with this. In edge selection, I'm gonna select that edge, look from the side, and I'm just gonna press G and I'm gonna pull it up to there. And uh, okay, I'll grab this edge, and I'm just gonna go G, and I'm gonna pull it down. And this one's gonna go to. I'll do it to the middle. I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'm not sure I like the angle, but we're gonna extrude it down. And let's um, scale Z zero to straighten it out. Grab this edge again, pull it back, and grab this face, and pull it down. This kind of thing. Now for this one, I might go 0 0.01 for my bevel. All right, let's use this piece here. Take this, shift D, slide it over. Okay, P to break it out. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's fine. Let's set the origin to geometry on this guy. And uh, grab this edge. Let's actually grab the whole thing and pull it down a bit. I'm just going to go on the outside of this. frame and I'm gonna turn it off uh, because I can't go to there I'm gonna extrude it down grab that back edge pull it down like this front edge, pull it up, mm, not sure I like that yet, maybe I'll grab this front face, pull it out a little ways, let's just have a look and see how it's going so far, it's a bit thick though, scale this in the X. Copy that, that'll plug up that hole there. <clears throat> Take this guy, move him a little bit more central. I shouldn't see that gap in there. It's not necessarily the best way to do this part here. Maybe I probably should have closed that in, but I'm, I've got another piece to do here. Uh, I'll do it off this. So I'm going to take that piece, shift D and bring it up, and P to break it out. Set the origin of geometry on that. Scale this in the X, nice and thin, it's going to go over on the side. 
I'll go ahead and extrude it up and grab this edge, pull it back, grab this face, pull it down, and then this edge, pull it back. Not sure what I want this part to do exactly. No, it's going to be, it's going to go in there. Not sure how high it's supposed to go, or if it's supposed to like sort of go into there. I think it probably is. I don't really like that though. Copy it over on this side. It could be mirroring, and I suppose probably a better idea. Really gonna see it up that that close, so just want to think about this. I also don't want it like that. this edge pull it up a little bit I'm on th my 3d cursor because I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select this edge here and control plus a couple times I'm gonna look from the top and in wireframe and I'm going to scale shift Z this let's pull it in a little bit smaller pieces now and with my 3d cursor right in the middle I'm going to shift D rotate Z 180 shift D rotate Z 90 and shift D rotate Z 180 let's get those pieces all around let's take this shift D rotate Y 180 well that didn't work Rotate Y 180. There we go. Bring this up a ways. I'm going to close this off. Bring an edge lip up there. So I'll come in here and I'll grab that edge. I'll copy it, Shift D, and bring it down. Break it out. Take it again. Go in. And let's uh, let's scale it a bit bigger. This would form the glass. Maybe I do need it wider. Maybe it's got to touch the size scale shift Z. Or almost touch the sides. And that's pretty much it for the moment. Maybe take this. the 
basics of the model there. Uh, we'll have an emitter in the middle and some particles and some other, we'll put some other stuff. Stand you on the floor. Now, here's the thing embedded in the wall like this. Uh, in this image, pieces project. I can imagine it's cut in half. I don't feel like cutting my model in half, so I'm going to do something a little different. And uh, I don't know how you're going to feel about this. I'm going to select there. Shift D. P to make a copy. Set the origin of geometry. Take off the subdivision surface. Look down from the top. And just scale globally until it's bigger than this. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of this. Select that point and that point. Just basically do the same thing. Uh, e scale in the Y. Take this one. Bring it forward a little bit. And over to the side a little bit. This one. Bring it forward a little bit. Oh, so we got some snapping. I'll turn that off. So we'll be forward a little bit. Another one. Uh, you'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. Let's just bring it down. Oh, I think it moved. Okay. Bring it down like that. Now we'll snap. solidify and pull it back and set it on even thickness shade smooth and add edge split so that gives me a space now obviously you could not move in there and work on those back sections but I just feel with my model I don't want to try to cut it in half and I just Sorry, all you Star Trek people. It's not exactly the same. Where's my edge lip here? Put one down there and then delete this point. I guess something like that going on. We'll see. Just, you know, to have some kind of backdrop. Okay, so that's, uh, that's where we're at with this uh, model. We'll come back and pick it up next time.